Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny is here. <gasps> Welcome to Thursday night live show, crafter show, crafter after show, short edition. The trusty, crafty sidekick is on the other side. Okay. If you don't know, tomorrow open house begins and we're toast. Would you say that's a fair statement? No, look how fresh we look. We look fresh. We look fresh. We just we're just we honored that you are with us tonight. We are May May Made It. If you've never been here before, please click that button and subscribe and give us a thumbs up and let us know you're enjoying the video. We call that Vinnying the Video. So give us a thumbs up. We would appreciate it. Everything that you're going to see tonight will be available for you to purchase in our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. I cannot promise you that everything you see tonight will have a link pop up, but we're going to do our best and hopefully you'll have a pretty quick opportunity. If you're watching on Facebook, welcome. We're honored to have you here through the, the wonders of technology. We're able to broadcast in multiple locations at one time. So hopefully wherever you are, you will enjoy May May. Speaking of May May, What's up? <laughs> y'all, I'm just going to tell y'all something. We're a little bit delusional. We've been, I don't know what they're talking about. We've been at it a while today, but we're doing okay. Hey, listen, here's the thing. Somebody said they were appreciative that we do these shows, and, and we, we appreciate that you appreciate it. I want to tell you, though, I'm always afraid to get too far behind because this is what happened to us recently. We got very, very far behind. At Christmas, we got far behind with our, like, across the miles and all that good stuff, and then at um, New Orleans. <laughs> when we went to New Orleans, we got behind, but we got behind before that when we had all the cards coming in for the ministry and things got a lot mixed up and stuff like that. And today I finished going through all the cards and reading all the letters. Like today I completed it and I found a box from December. Now here's the thing. I don't know if it was shipped in December and it just got here. I don't know if it got lost and we just, I don't know what happened. But I was going through the most recent across the miles and this box was there. OK, and I feel very compelled to show it to you because I think it's important. So I'm going to show you this, what was sent to us. OK, this is from. Does it have a date? Yes. Regina Stock. And she signs it. Merry Christmas. Who knows, you guys? Who knows? And it says, I really appreciate all that you do for the crafting community, especially sharing your faith. Enclosed, you will find two bags of cashmere popcorn and articles explaining the business. They are a small business located in Topeka, Kansas. We lived there for 35 years, but three years ago, moved to Missouri to help take care of my mom. Recently, we were back in Topeka and stopped in their store, and I spoke to Angie, one of the owners. Cashmere popcorn has been in business for 10 years, going strong. Angie's husband, Bill, is battling cancer. The articles will tell you more about that, and these are the articles that she sent me here. And she says, um, on each bag, you will see the letters T, B, T, G. Let me find them so I can show you right there. T, B, T, G. And that stands for to God be the glory. Um, no, it stands for <laughs> thanks be to God to God. No, that's right. Thanks be to God. And she says, um, the kernels represent Angie, Bill and their two daughters. That's Angie, Bill, and their two daughters, how they have them laid out. I've only sent you samplings of their many flavors. This popcorn is like none you've ever tasted. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. They have an online ordering. Here's the thing. A portion of what they sell, a portion of their proceeds is going to help him. It's called Popcorn with a Purpose. You see that? Um I'm not going to read all of this to y'all, but that's that's the thing. Popcorn with a, with a purpose. Topeka cancer patient hopes to leave a legacy with his popcorn business. I am so sorry that I missed this. And I want to get this to you guys. Here's how you can order. Cashmerepopcorn.com. And I guarantee you, it says if anyone re wants to read these articles, search the Topeka Capital Journal Cashmere Popcorn and the articles will pop up. Thank you again for all you do. Many blessings to you in the new year. Merry Christmas. Regina Stock, I feel horrible that this got missed, but it's too important. I want to make sure I shared this with you guys. I, I, you know, it's too important, right? And I'll tell you something. This says, enjoy by 6 12 24. So, still good. It ain't 6 12 24. It ain't. 
I so say guys, go it. to that website and purchase this popcorn and help support this family uh, during their battle. And um, I know they will appreciate it. So, again, what's the website? Cashmerepopcorn.com. There you go. Caramel peanut. Help a believer out. I'm not going to try it right now. I had enough. <laughs> we ain't going to tell you what we're trying before the show. I just felt it was too important not to show y'all that. Okay. And don't worry. I will not be sucking popcorn out of my teeth all night. Yes, I will. All right. Let's look at some more across the miles. By the way, if you've written us a letter, if you have sent us a card, if you have sent us an item and it has not been shown on the show, it is only because we got so far behind. And I have enjoyed reading the letters. I read so many beautiful letters this past week. Um, and today I finished off. I just sat down at my table and I just finished reading them. And it was absolutely incredible to hear from you guys how you love crafting. Some of you lost your crafting mojo and you've gotten it back. Some of you enjoy our devotions or all the faith um, I, things that we bring to you. And some of you are crafting with your grandkids again like you never have been. Or you know, It's just incredible your stories and I love hearing them and I thank y'all for that. Thank you for all your letters and I'm sorry if it didn't get shown but know that I did read it and enjoy it. This is too funny. Look. Ready for this? Happy birthday. Love you. Long time. <laughs> love Elise Fontano. That is hilarious. It's so cute. Hilarious. Thank you so much. I love that. That is so funny. A long weenie dog. I think that's my birthday. My birthday's coming up, so I guess people are sending them early. Um, this is to Vinny from Scott and Andrea Wellman. Happy birthday. My birthday is coming up in a few days. When is your birthday? My birthday is not tomorrow, but the following Friday. This is um, Vinny, I know it's not exactly the boat you want, but it's the best I can do. Thanks for all you do and happy birthday. <laughs> That's sweet. Thank very, you. Very, very kind. Very kind. What was the small ink tool you used this morning coloring inside of flowers? Um, these guys. All to new detail brushes. I think we might be out of them. Or did they come back into the all to new order? I got to put them back because I'm cleaning my room. <clears throat> Oh, wonder who this is for. Happy birthday. Peggy done started it. She done started something. She did a sweat emoji and she did laugh emoji because she knows she done started something. <laughs> Wishing you the happiest of birthdays from Elise Pontano. You know she did. She said a week from this Friday. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. She does what she did. That's funny. This card says with sympathy. Um, prayers for you and your family, even when you know Wayne is with Jesus and your loved ones, it's still hard. Love Stephanie Carroll. Thank you, Stephanie. That's beautiful. And you are right. It is still hard. It's still. <laughs> Here's another one. Heartfelt sympathy. I'm so sorry for your loss from Andrea in Roanoke, Virginia. I love your cards, you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read too awful much. I'm not gonna read too awful much. Look, all these look. Everybody knows. If you know, you know. Thanks so much. Look at that hippo. Is that a hippo pop? It is. Thank you so much for all you do. Your love for Christ lead, uh, leads through and shines as very, so very bright. Blessings, Robin Barber. Thank you, Robin. I like that. It's a hippo. Rhinoceros? Nope, rhinoceros. We are hoping that uh, our grandson will show up here soon, preferably next Friday. But we're looking it's forward to that. <laughs> Y'all, like, she's a little animal challenged. If it's not a weenie dog, she's or a bean. so confused. Terrence said, I think a rhino. <laughs> I can hear how he said it. I think a rhino. We need to take a field trip to the zoo. Y'all want to hear something funny? So, do you know what a stout is? You know what a stout is? I didn't know this was a thing. I was watching one of my UK vloggers and he's like, I saw a stout in the garden today. I'm almost positive. I'll try to catch it. I'm like, what's a stout? I'll leave it at that. It's not bad. I'll just leave it at that and see if y'all know. Look, Peggy, start again. Next Friday is tomorrow. That's what I was thinking, Amy Powers, a beer. 
It's not. Look, I mean, some people is, know. No, what are you talking about? Look how pretty this one is. This yellow is very pretty. This is from Andrea. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you so much. That's really pretty. I like that tone on tone like that. We have a super chat from Donna. What? Wishing us a happy open house. A great open house. You Just know, we're going to do that $10. We're going to buy lunch with it because Vinny has, Vinny has to buy lunch both days for the whole crew. That's what I told him. Your job is making sure we have lunch both days. for the, It's like so, a weasel. It's like a weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Like a ferret. Like a weasel, like a ferret kind of thing. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> a little punchy on the shoulder. Oh, I'm like read this card messy missy came to visit and gave me this card <laughs> i read it i'm like wow somebody did exactly the same card um M melissa johnson she fishes here what twice a year with a fisher once a year and she comes by she said your card ministry has touched so many lives of elderly in rehabs and nursing homes in pensacola florida thank you for all you do to inspire and encourage all of us you are precious and also appreciated love and prayers from messy missy um, she also picks up cards when she comes here too. So this is when she made that. She made this. Isn't this pretty? Really, I went, I've seen this card. That's funny. Yeah, like a ferret. Thank you, April. Okay. Little Punchy showed up. I'll just tell you this. Little Punchy's been here a while because all you kept hearing Amber say was, welcome to After Hours at Mamma Mamma. <laughs> We were having a lot of fun. She was sassy. This card it's is from stoke. Marilyn Bridges, and she says, wishing you peace to bring you comfort and courage to face the days ahead and loving memories to forever hold in your heart. I was so saddened to hear about waning. Is she still in there yelling at us about after hours? She's sassy. Oh, this is sweet. A little, a little side card. Thank you for that. That's very, very sweet. That's cute. That's a good way to keep your privacy because it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thank you so side much. Card. Yeah, a side card. A side card. <laughs> yeah, what? Meme sassy? Yeah. I'm not sassy. She's sassafras. Thank you, Karen. You're on my mind. One more week. Dear Meme and Vinny, I was so sorry to hear about Wayne. He was always in my prayers. I pray you are comforted but God's, by God's loving arms. As you adjust to not having him here. I know his homecoming was joyous and he will be there when you go on to glory. I hope you feel the comfort from all of us. Love in Christ, Amy. Thank you, Amy. She's a made it. That's the part. It's like that they're not here. Like, that's the part. You just can't. You can't put it in your brain. You can't do it. The weather has not got stormy here yet, Lisa. I think it's, I don't know when it's supposed to actually be here. But we said we might get some rain tonight. Then we said we might get some rain tomorrow. But I think the worst of our rain is supposed to be Saturday, unless that has changed since last night. It was so, drizzling on me when I went out early. So for those of you that don't know, in case you missed it this morning, club video streamed at 10 a.m. this morning. So don't miss that. If you if you if you did miss it, go back and watch it. You can also enter to win the fifty dollar gift card that we're giving away, and you can do that in the description of that video. So go check that one out. Um, we're going to do across the miles. My plan is for us to not be here longer than seven o'clock. I'm not across the miles. We're going to do new product. The reason is if we can get out at seven, we can go home, eat dinner, get in bed at a decent time, right? We have to be back here pretty early in the morning. We're we're so excited about open house. No joke, like. If you are coming, I don't want to like make people that aren't coming feel left out in any way. But if you are coming, I'm so excited. We have worked so hard on the store and it just looks so good. And we've done some stuff we've never done before. One of the things I'm really proud of, and it is a it is the beginnings of a work in progress. So when you come and you look at it and you're like, well, this isn't all that great, but it will be great. Please ooh and all. <laughs> just ooh and all anyway. It will be great. But in our hallway, Thomas came and hung grid wall all the way down our hallway. And we're turning it into a gallery. Now, some of it is shopping. When I say in our hallway, if you've been here before, you know, we have the main store. Then you turn down the short hallway into the craft club room. Then there's a long hallway by the warehouse. That hallway by the warehouse, we're turning into a gallery of projects that I've done over the years. And Sylvia has created QR codes and mounted it. And Shannon 
mounted the QR codes next to all of the projects. So if you come in and see something, not in the store, but in the gallery, okay? I want this to happen in the store too. But for now, it's in the gallery. When you come down the hallway, if you see something, you're like, I never saw that video. You can take your phone and hover over it and then tap the website and it'll open up for you to see it. And so it's a work in progress. So there, it's not as full as we hope. But what's funny is they were pulling all projects, pulling all the projects, getting it all done. And then we hung it up and Shannon went, that's all. Like they felt like they'd done. They felt like it was going to be packed. Yeah. And we will get it there. We will get it there. But I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, also, if you're coming, we have a sign that asks you not to go into the warehouse. Um, the warehouse is not for shopping. It's just for looking. And But we do have that hallway. The gallery is on this side of the warehouse. So basically, you get to see artwork and the warehouse in one shot. So um, exciting. Then we have demos going on throughout the day. I think we're doing four or five tomorrow and then three or four the next day. Ish. Something like that. Um There'll be special sales throughout the store, all that good stuff. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to show you this product. I don't think any of this is going to be in the sale. I'll have to look and see. I don't think this is going to be in the sale next week. I don't know that for sure. Because you promised them that, I don't know when you're doing that sale, but you promised them you would give them the same sale at some point. So I'm going to show you this stuff that's come in. So, there's a couple things I think you need to just grab. Don't wait. There's a couple things I think you're going to miss out on if you don't. Um, but anyway, there's that. Can you scoot? I can't reach it. I can't either. Oh, well, we have to go home. Well, we can't reach the product. Oh, well. It's, it's without it's, a arm's look, reach. It's that far out of reach. You want me to go push it around? Vinny will push it around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one for the team. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Product number one that I'm super excited about, and Vince thinks I'm a nut job. He does. He's like, what do we need that for? I mean, he is married well, to Here's what I want to say before she even shows it. I need y'all to prove me wrong. We need this. Prove me wrong. I found it. It's perfect for mini albums. It's perfect for notebooks. It's perfect for 3D projects. It's perfect. Are y'all ready? I love it. Look at this Rick Rack. It's the, the reason it's perfect is because it's not yards and yards and yards that you have to buy. It's just enough for your paper projects. It's so good. Look, there's the white and the green. They're actually not called that. It's white and emerald. And you get four yards. So you're not having to buy like 20 yards of Rick Rack or something. We did have one that was smaller that was a lot of Rick Rack. But look how cute this is. Can you see this on your like, I've, I've cleaned everything up. I have nothing to show you. But this yellow or this black on my Hexagon album that I'm working on, how cute would this be on the front cover or across the bottom of a page and a photo tucked into it? Or It's so cute. And you can use this in real in sewing too. It's very, gorgeous. very reasonably priced. What's funny? Red, black, apple, royal, and yellow. I was looking at a dress today that's got Rick Rack. On. Rick Rack is coming back. Rick. So if you it. love, love Rick Rack, prove him. Prove it. Order it. Order it. Just order it. I feel, and let me tell you something. There's like two other sizes that I want to bring in a thinner and an even wider one. And I have to prove him with this first. He's like, you don't need to bring all those sizes in. I'm like, yes, I do. We need it. We need it. Okay, okay, okay. You guys know we've had these before. The postcards. I love these. These postcards look like this on the back, and they're blank on the front, okay? So you can make your own postcards for anything you want. Imagine doing these for birthday pre um, invitations. Wouldn't that be cool to do postcard birthday invitations? Yeah. Amy, you are so right. Amy said, and pick up some buttons, too. Buttons and Rick Rack. <laughs> this... um. This is available in a 25 pack. It's a 25 pack for these. I think they're so cute. They also come in white. We already have the white ones. I think we have the white ones in store. Okay. But these are what you haven't seen yet. And I'm in love with these. These are also a 25 piece pack. Ready for this? We saw these at Creativation and went, put those in our cart. Sharon said, Sharon said, I'm on my way to Clanton for the open house tomorrow by way of Texas, Tennessee, and finally Alabama. Oh, my goodness. She Look road tripping these. it. Look at these recipe cards. 25 pieces. You Here's what I like about them. You can put a photo of the recipe on this side, do the recipe here, or you can make them match the recipe book you're creating. You can use your decorator paper and make them match. Look pretty, at these. A pretty cool item, I have to these say. These are cool. 
I love these even if you just want to use them as recipe cards. They're really, really good. Eva said you showed the postcard already, right? I did. That Rick Rack for one of your weave cards. Oh, we should try that. That would be pretty. All right. I know y'all are going to fight over these, but there's nothing I can do about it. Right now, this is all I can get. And I think it was 10 or less of these. <laughs> Amber will probably yell at us in a second. This is something you guys have been asking for, okay? So this is the Sizzix Dye Storage Solutions Binder. I don't even have one for me. There's that few. These are going to go online only, okay? The, the Dye Storage Solutions. Um, and what happens is inside of here, I'm not even open it. I can't open it. This will hold nine sheets of their storage, their magnet sheets. Okay, this I can't, there's only six of them, she said. This I can open because there's more of these. Let me show y'all what this is. These are magnetic sheets to hold your dies. You've been asking me for these. So these will fit in binder sheets. This is five and three fourths by seven and a half. So as long as your binder sheet is bigger than that or the ones that come in here. Um, this works with the magnetic sheets and the storage envelopes, um, which are right here. <laughs> These are the storage envelopes. So this will fit inside this envelope and you can put your dies in there and then you can put all this inside of here. Um, let me see if I can show you. There's the holes on the side of that. It binds in here. I can't get too excited about it because I only have six of the books. But I have a lot, I don't know how many, but I have a lot more of the magnets, right? I have the magnets and I have the um, these guys. Y'all make sure I'm right about that. I'm You're trying to see what Bonnie said? No, I'm trying to see if um, she's telling me how many I got. How many have I got? I don't know, but I have six of these. She's yelling and we have more of these. Now you guys have been looking for the magnetic sheets. People ask me about them all the time. Do we have magnetic dye sheets? Magnetic sheets. We have 101. Perfect. I got storage those. envelopes. We have 22. So there's 22 of these. There's six of these. We ordered a lot more than that. So there will be more coming of the books, but if you can catch them now, catch them now. Cause um, I don't know when that's going to actually. Happen. She said lots. <laughs> Okay, these are back in stock. The Misties. We've Actually, got Creative Corners. That one's new because we hadn't had a black mini. That's oh, a black mini. It is a black mini. Get it while you can. This one's mine. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. Look how cute the black mini is. Oh my goodness. And Creative Corners. Hey, did she add grids to these? I think she added grids, y'all. <coughs> I don't remember those. Of course she did. I don't have grids on mine. That's cool. Don't have grids. No, that's really cool. Do you see the added grid lines? That's pretty neat. That's neat. I wonder when she did that. Probably a long time ago and I missed it. Yes, Sharon. There'll be all kinds of things in the store tomorrow for you to see. Oh, my goodness. So much. We we have so much. If you've ever been to Penny's store, Penny's got like every fabric known to man in the store's packed. I told her today I feel like Penny. I've got so much over there. There's a lot of stuff we have not put online that you're going to see next door first. So when you come, you'll see some things you hadn't seen before. Then we'll put it online later. Surprise! <clears throat> Number 10 letter envelopes. So let me tell you why. I like these for my slim lines. I don't really care that they're a slim line size envelope. I like this number 10 envelope. And I also love this. You know, the ones we currently have for slim line were the uh, policy. policy envelope. Terrence, you just got a Misty. That blows my mind. That You're blows my mind. Love it. So we've got cream and white in the policy envelopes. I mean, letter envelopes, not policy, letter envelopes. Sarah's under a tornado warning. Oh, no. Be careful, Miss Sarah. Where? She said, My attention is divided. I am sitting in the hallway on the stairs watching. Where is she at? Where does Miss Sarah uh, She didn't say lady. where she's at. Do you want do these? What? what do you want first? Um, not that. Let's do this. Okay, this is the ephemera for the joyful paper that we got last week. The ephemera just came in. So if you needed the ephemera to go with your joyful paper pack, it is now in. So cute, by the way. We've been using those like crazy. Let me show. Wow, we've done a number on this thing, haven't we? Yeah. Let me show this. 
No. We got the whole bottom shelf. I shouldn't show this yet, should we? We should That's show. Fall. Do not Let's see the bottom throw shelf. that in the garbage. I won't. All right. Back in stock. The Dress My Craft trimmer. Back in stock. Oh, more Misties are back in stock. We got the, the original original Black Misty, the Misty Rulers, which you guys love. They sell it like crazy. The bar magnet, as well as the mouse pad that can go inside and you can wipe it off if you get ink on it. Then we got, this is all back in stock, right? Ish, maybe. Bright and Vivid color pencils are back in stock. The... Honeycomb stencil. It's a six by eight stencil from Simple Stories. We have your Tamsin Billet. Would you slow down? <laughs> I won't slow down. Tamsin Billet. You don't have to run out the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Where'd she get to? Someone on watching on Facebook is asking for prices. You will have to go to our uh, oh, online Tim, store. Oh, doesn't post restock. She doesn't post restocks. Yeah, our online store, mememadeit.com, will have these items so you can see the prices. I thought you did them. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the 4 by 6 waterfall enclosure set in black and white and black and 6 by 8 and in white in six by eight. You guys know these. We use these for like inserts inside of mini albums. This is the accessories pack that creates um, four different accessories if you do um, the photo play folio. See, this is like a photo play folio back in stock, by the way. And you can use these accessory packs together if you want to use those. Okay. Then, did I tell you all about this? We have the inserts for the... Sticky folio back in stock. Yes, yeah, somebody said make sure it's the May May store. Listen, May May made it dot com. May May made it dot com. I want to wait on that one. Yeah. Here's more. Oh, I'm so excited these are back. All right. Versa Claire's Fallen Leaves, Golden Meadow, Paradise. Should have dropped, dropped Fallen Leaves. <laughs> It would at least make sense, sense, would it? Warm Breeze, Monarch, Green Oasis, Glamorous, Nocturne, Summertime. Can you believe how, I mean, we brought these in years ago, and they're still my favorite hands-down ink. Hands down. I have a lot of other inks I use. These are my favorite. I oh, love these so much. So I'm going to put it there on camera. If you've not tried a pigment ink or you haven't ever loved a pigment ink you've tried, you won't be sad about these. I promise you that. Okay. This is back in stock, right? Yeah, these are all restocked. You guys bought this up so fast it made our head spin. This is the Kaleidoscope from 49 and Market. Look at that. Y'all bought this up so fast. There's the companion pack. I'm telling you, Becky. You you will love those inks. Oh gosh, this is going. This is back, or is this the new one? Are you seeing things? Yeah. This is it. Same one, twenty twenty three. Yeah. Shannon said, "Are you seeing things?" <laughs> well, as long as you're seeing what I'm laying down, that's what's back. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the same thing. Get ready to click. Okay. Be, Be happy. happy. Don't worry. Be happy. happy. This. <laughs> We cannot keep this on the shelf. Matter of fact, we pulled this because we didn't have enough to put over next door. If you come for open house and don't see this, it's because we had one pack left in the store and we pulled it and put it online because we were afraid that it would be a frenzy to buy it because it is. <laughs> so the Be Happy set is back. This set, which is called Bloom. By the way, this is the pack I'm using in my class. Um, you know, Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Got to make sure they still have it. I'm sure they will. This is the one I'm going to use in my class at um, Craftacropolis. June. <laughs> All the names. In June, I'm using this. I won't, I probably, I don't, I won't be using this. I'll be using this because this is going to be perfect for what we're doing. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. So pretty. All right. The 49er Market Essentials White Cardstock is back. 
You just need to know this stuff's amazing. It is a step above. It is not the same cardstock as any other white cardstock. It is amazing. Amazing. Wedding Belt is back. So pretty. Love that mint green in that pack. All right, let's talk about new paper. Well, I got to do that last because we got to flip through that. I really want to do that, but I want to show that. I want to like use that real quick. All right, let me do this because this is really important. Let me make sure I explain this to you. When we were at Creativation, okay. So my favorite paper for making folios is the PA, the Paper Accents, 80-pound cover. I had to read it real quick. 80-pound cover. It's my favorite for making folios. It's my favorite for making anything that's three-dimensional. Boxes, books, covers, anything like that, okay? We found a whole other color line, but we found other colors we didn't know even existed, okay? So we went in and started getting it. This is the smooth 80-pound cover. This is what I love for making folios. Now, let me show you this, okay? Smooth linen, 80-pound cover, so a nice, beautiful cardstock, but that's linen textured. That's smooth. So you have the cream that's smooth, and the bright white is linen. This one is 80 pound cover in the pimento color, but it is canvas. So the texture on it is deeper and it's more of a canvas than it's hard to see that. Oh, there it went. Oh, it went at the very right end. when I left. Turn it a little bit. There, there it is. There you go. Looks like canvas. This one. Well, this one looks like linen, but it's so faint anyway, it'd be hard to see. So there's different textures, okay? This one is smooth, 80-pound cover in white. So linen, bright white, smooth white, okay? This one, canvas, brown eyes, 80-pound cover. I'm, the reason I wanted these is because it's perfect for folios. Yellow corn, 80-pound cover, canvas. This is going to make a beautiful folio. And then canvas in lilac mist, 80 pound cover. Now we were also able to get this in 12 by 12. That's what I love about this paper line. I can get coordinating papers. I don't know if I got every single color I just showed you, but I think I did. So uh -huh. I got pimento, canvas, black, smooth. We've had this before. We love this. Um, firecracker, canvas. We've had this before. The color. Cream, smooth. That lilac, isn't that gorgeous? It is very pretty. So pretty. Um, 80 pound cover in 12 by 12. This is yellow corn, which I showed you a second ago. This is white. But hold your horses. This is grasshopper. Look how cute that is. So pretty. Y'all, this paper is so pretty. Is the texture only on one side? <laughs> that again i want to say here's yes, the thing i need you when you're ordering to pay very close attention to whether it is smooth or whether it is canvas or whether it is linen so that you are not disappointed when it comes in if it's not what you thought it was listen to this card stop that's some thick so stuff good. right there all right this is the back this is the front it looked oh there it goes just the back one like that too? So the front has more texture and the back has a slight texture. There is more texture on the front. I cannot put that back in. These are mine anyway. I'm on you. I love this cardstock. I love it. I only it get is sad solid when core. we run out of it. It is not a uh, white core. Yes. Solid core. I just want to sit here, this here for a second. Okay, listen. All y'all going to fuss at me, and you can. There have been other versions of this before. I've had them. I have tried them, but they weren't made by this company. I have not tried this one. We're fixing to try it together. But I just happen to think that based on my track record with We Are, this is going to be quality. Okay? I have not loved the other ones that I have played with as enough. You haven't <laughs> played with this one at all. At all. I oh, just so know. This is the first time. I just know we are. We know that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at the difference in this. I knew it would be. Look at this. Let's just peruse. Oh, look. Okay. I just knew it would be. And this, by the way, does not lift up because you just slide underneath it. That's how it is on all of them. Why is that arm wavy? For looks. It really is just for looks. It doesn't really do anything. Nope, it's for looks. Okay, here's what this one does. First off, it's called the dial trimmer. Okay, so this top dials in. See this? And what it, look how, look at that. Okay, one of the things, let me just tell you all this. I was sent one of these style trimmers way back in like 2014, something like that. And it just was not good quality. This didn't stay in place. I had to fight a little bit. Then there was another one that I was sent more recently, not recent, recent, but sooner than 2014. And I didn't love it either. But this, I just knew, I just knew. So let me show you how this works. Yeah, because I'm real curious. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So when you see me leaning over, it's because I'm trying to look at it. Okay. You get. Are you really going to play with that paper? Yes, I am. Can I get you ugly paper? This will be fun. You get a scallop cut, a wave cut, a decal cut, a perforated cut, a cut, and a score. Did that make sense? Let's cut. Let me just put it on regular old cut. Someone asked. Look how it locks in. Are there replacement blades? I don't know. Probably will be some point in time. All right. Probably some point in time. So let's say. Now, I would not get this for the cutting feature. For this particular feature I'm fixing to show you. Y'all know I'm I'm crazy about that, right? Y'all know I'm crazy about how I cut paper. But look. We're going to cut this. Does it do that? Or did I do that? Does it not cut? Does it do that or did I do that? I need to know. It didn't cut on the way down, did it? Okay. You have to press it. That was on me. Or do you? What does it say, Shannon? Do it again. I'm not going to press it. All right. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to press it. So it's very interesting. It has like a um, press forward situation. Does it say to press it forward? They don't really give great. You press up here a little bit. I can packaging. feel it cutting. They They're straight. The tools, but the, the directions on packaging are a little less. This is score. All right. So what I'm noticing is you have to kind of press the front. There's your score mark. Oh, I'm using this canvas. Can y'all see it? The canvas is not, I need to use regular cardstock. Hold on. Hold on. I don't have regular near me. Here's some, I think. Nope, that's copy paper. <laughs> How do I not have regular cardstock right here? It's right here. Oh, that's like super thick. I just want some regular. By the way, we got, oh, we may not have that in. I better not say. Mm -mm. Am I not allowed to say? It wasn't released on That's here, true. so I don't know. I think I'm doing something wrong. All right. There's the score this time. You can see it this time, and you can see it folding. See how it found it, and then we can crease it. I need to read instructions. That would probably be helpful. All right, then. Especially if you're going to show it to everybody. <laughs> don't come with any. Then. Let's do this one. See, I wonder if I'm supposed to be doing some. All right, this is the wavy cut. Let's see what it does. Or it's kind of wavy. Oh, that. No, this is the decal, I think. Is this decal? Perforated? No, not perforated. Is that decal oh. edge? Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I like that sound. Okay, then this one is scallop, I think. It's hard for me to see the lines from back here. I want to see if at you least, can run it twice. At least this way you guys get to see first impressions. Oh, look, you can run it twice. There's the scallop side. See it? That's cool. Okay, let's turn it. 
None of these are what I wanted it for. Just wait. None of these. All right, here, I think this is another, what's this one called? Wavy, maybe? I don't remember what they're all called. Um, you have scallop, wave, decal, perforate, cut, and score. So this is wave. Oh, that's cool. It is neat, isn't it? This one, I'm going to turn it again. Oh, I don't have the blade pushed up. You do have to push the blade up. This is what I wanted it for. Perforated. This is neat, right? Because we'll be doing all kind, we'll be doing all kinds of stuff for it with it. Oh, cool. Look at the perforated. Can y'all see it? Oh, let me no. do it on the other card stop. The texture hides it. Here, like this. Can y'all hear it? Oh, that was so cool. It goes up in like a hanger, like a air, like an airplane hanger. Let me see if I can get you to be able to see it. It's just there it is. Yeah, there it is. See it? And then... So it ain't so. It's nothing new. This has been around a long time. But I just felt like I would enjoy this particular one. And the cool thing is I can go back over it and do it twice. Oh, look at that. I think the up and down, going down and back up, makes it show up more. It's so cool how it goes into its carriage. It goes in. Now I'm just being me. It goes in and then it drops. I want this to open. Don't do this at home. Don't do it. I made it so we can... I want that later. So if we're going to break it, we'll just break it, and then y'all don't have to break it. It's a rotary. Yeah, that's why this doesn't open. Don't do that. Seriously. That's a pretty serious blade in there. Do not try what Mamie tries. Yeah, it's a rotary blade. Okay, people. She's a professional. <laughs> don't try this at home. Can you see that blade? That half moon thing you see in there? That's the blade. It's a rotary blade. Sure is. So don't do what I just did. Because you don't need to be you don't need it to be exposed. Yeah. That's so cool. I like it. I like the feet. You see that? I like the feet. Yeah. Well, and look at all those in. options we have now. Cool. Like it. All right. We'll get to play with a little more and we'll get even more comfortable with it. I can't believe it's a rotary. I just want to take it home. The arm it. does extend on the side, yes. It does, yep. Yeah, I'll watch Shannon. And what does it measure out to? Mm, 14. 14 and a quarter. Inches. All right, it'll cut 12. New paper, you guys. So cute. Look at this. Where are my cowboys at? Cowboys. Where are my cowboys at? I was told to tell you. That ephemera and everything else for this is on order, but it did not show up. There are measurements to the side, to either side. Let me see what they, let me see this real quick for just two seconds. There's measurements that go across right here and then also down. And they go, they go from zero to three here, zero to three here, and then they extend out that way. I don't know about replacement blades yet. Probably, maybe not now. Okay, this is Cardabella. Look at this. Where's my cowboys at? Oh, my goodness. Big sky. I can tell that Amber has been waiting on this one to come. She loved this pack. Look at that. Home, home on the rain. I'm going to do it like this so I can smell it. <laughs> they see you smelling it. Look how cute this is. Oh, look at that. Some oh cowboy goodness. boots. Look at those boots. Oh, that's so pretty. I think my Uncle Wayne had this shirt. He probably did. Look at this. It's so good. I love this. Never let your head hang down unless it's to admire your boots. <laughs> I love that. 
y'all this morning Bean got downstairs we don't usually let her go downstairs by herself because that's like Benny's hunting area down there and she got downstairs and she wouldn't come back up and she wouldn't come back up and I'm always waiting her to come back up with something in her mouth I finally got her to come back up and I went downstairs to leave for work and guess what was sitting right inside the door Joe's brand new birthday boots sitting there can you imagine if she'd have got his brand new boots and just had to fill a day with them? Yeah, I'd have been, been buying, buying new boots. I'd have been buying new boots. It'd have been on me. Look how beautiful this is. This is so much fun. They were, no, seriously. It was either his new birthday boots or your boots that he borrows. I That's think his. I think they were his. Mine are in the closet, but she could get to those too. Look at this bandana paper. Oh, look at that. Where is this? Oh, the Grand Teton in the National Park. Grand, no, Grand Teton National Park. This is where Joe goes, isn't it? That's where Mama and Daddy went. Is it Montana? Yeah, isn't that in Montana? The Grand Teton. Uh, Somebody right now is like, seriously? Let me see if it's a map. Well, it don't say. <laughs> it might. It looks like a map. The Targahee National Forest. This would be good for rodeo. Look at that. It Wyoming. reminds me of barrel racing. It's in Wyoming. Wyoming. It reminds me of barrel racing. This, you know what this would be good for? Um, so Joe and the and our a group from our church is going out to work in a rodeo, and they do it as trip. a ministry. This would be a cool thing to do a mission of uh, um, album with him for this him. This would be cool. Um, Noah's friend is a oh. cowboy and does roping and oh. all that. This would be cool. Look at that. that. Be a cool album. Oh my goodness. Yeah, a group from our church comes out to Montana every year and works in a rodeo there uh, on mission trip. What y'all think the Cowboys code is? Live each day with courage. Have respect for everyone you meet. Be confident in your dreams. Always do what's right. Take pride in your work. Know where to draw the line. Be tough, but always fair. Keep your eyes on the stars and your boots on the ground. That's so cute, y'all. Look at that scene. That's cool. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So cute. I gotta be honest, I did not think I would fall in love with this as much as I have. This is great. First off, it's Cartabella. You can't go wrong with Cartabella. Look at that. This is great. Look at them stickers. Big skies, cowboy, country music. No, if it ain't country, it's not music. Howdy, y'all. Giddy up. Happy trails to you until we meet again. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Let's look at another one. How about off to school? Now, I know it's early. I know it's early. And I'm just going to tell y'all, I don't normally bring stuff in this early. But sometimes you guys tell me you need it quicker than I bring it in. So when they released it, we ordered it. That's just all there was to it. It was like, I have some people tell me I got to have that. So I can make my grandsons, granddaughters, niece and nephews albums. And if we don't have it in time for you, you tell me to hurry up. So we're trying to hurry up. <laughs> this is our hurry up Another paper. way, she's telling me to hurry up and take this paper so she can look at that paper. Yeah. Put that one away so I can look at this. Looky, looky, looky. Again, the ephemera is coming for this. Oh, my goodness. Who is this? This is Echo Park. Oh, this is so cute. This is Cartabella. Yeah, you just want to pet that. It's not. It's not just cowboy paper. It's Cartabella cowboy paper. Look at this. Look at that. I need this back. You really? It's real cute. This one smells good. Oh my goodness! Brace yourself. I'm gonna go fast. Y'all can't see it. Look at that. What is that? What is that? It's wobbling in the camera. It's pretty cool looking. It's a memo book. It's a composition book. And look, isn't that cute? You are the best teacher ever. Hey, you know that thing I did today? The little one? Yeah. Mm, cute. Yeah. This would be good for that. For yeah. teacher gift. Yeah. Oh, Speezy. Gosh. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Rule the school. <laughs> I 
can see this being like a 12 year album. This is cute, isn't it? It'd be cute for that. Oh, I love this. I love this. Do you know why I love this? I love it because this is my favorite. I used to, this paper was my favorite paper in school. I loved it so much. It was my favorite paper. Look at that one. I love that sheet. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this so much. The colors are so bright. Don't be afraid to color outside the lines. What made it? <laughs> there it is. They know. Oh, look. Crayons. So cute. Green. Beautiful. Look at that. They're so pretty. This is really cute. I love that it's classic school colors. Like It Me looks too. like a kindergarten classroom. It does. It looks like it looks like when we go in for like open house. Ew. But let's not rush through. Kind of smells like it. <laughs> one more. And y'all are going to love this. Amber went crazy over this one. She went crazy over this one. Look at this. Every year we bring in Stars and Stripes paper or red, white, and blue paper. And I always think it's probably not going to sell because, you know, it's red, white, and blue. And not, it's, it's literally very patriotic. It sells out every single year. Every year. You guys buy it every single year. I think it's gorgeous too. There's something about these colors together. It's something about adding that blue, that pale blue. Just gorgeous. It was made for us because it's got a gold star in it. This is called Stars and Stripes Forever. Look how pretty this is. If you're having a um, barbecue for the 4th of July, I you am. should make an album out of this. I've had one for the last two years. You should just years. you should make it a tradition that you get this paper every make year. Make it and you make your so album. So if every anybody year. has it from the last two years, I need it so I can look. Bobby's it. been waiting for this so that um to finish oh, a, a DC, DC trip, trip scrapbook. I lost it. Good. You're so smart. Yep, this is great for that. Look how pretty this is. Why is it so pretty? This color. Because America. America. But the color is, I love this combination. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the only thing that would make this paper better is if it was Cartabella. You know what? I think they trade. Some years it's Cartabella, some years I it's not. And I think they versions. traded up. Look at that. But Cartabella is my favorite. Is this Ocean Waves? like it's so pretty. pretty land of the free oh my stars party like it's 1776 i probably could do that i could probably do that party peace out <laughs> it's getting dark i gotta go to it's bed. dark going to bed <laughs> that's funny oh i love that that's a new page that's really pretty so let me bring it up close so y'all can see what I'm it is blowing it out that's stars really pretty stripes forever really Pretty. I love fireworks too. Love to go watch the fireworks. Look at that pick 'em up truck. This is my favorite. I hope your day sparkles. Y'all, this, I want a tablecloth like that. I love it. Look at that one. That's stars, by the way. Look at these. Hats, Uncle Sam hats. Look at those polka dots. And then the stickers. This is good. You can't have a, a 4th of July paper pack without a red truck. Land of the free because of the brave. Amen. I like that. I want that cupcake. <laughs> oh, that's Can't pretty. you just see your teeth being blue from that? And you know what it looks like? A rocket pop. Maybe it could taste like one. That's so cute. I love it. Look at this right here. I think Vinny has a shirt that matches this. I'm sure. Your flag shirt, your American flag shirt does match Oh, the one I was. Um, the white one. Allegiance to the Vinny. Oh, he does have that too. He just know. wore that one. But he's got a white one that's got the flag across the back of it. It's really Christina cool. Ann, this is the after show tonight. We're just doing an after show tonight, not a crap show and an after show. Because we because we after tired. <laughs> I 
um, we have been getting ready for open house and we have been working really long hours to get ready and to get everything done. We're very excited about it. We have, I feel like we're in a good place. I feel like things are going to be good. Um, we cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Those of you that are going to be able to make it. Um, we have, I don't remember what the schedule said. Who was coming tomorrow? I don't want to say if I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember either. There'll we, be boiled peanuts here tomorrow. We have. Over the weekend, we'll have boiled peanuts. We'll have a we have a coffee truck coming. We have Mr. Jim coming. Clack's coming with the mobile Clack Shack, and his buddy Steve is coming down, and he'll be here if you hadn't met Steve. They're only going to be here Saturday, by the way, so you'll want to squeeze in Saturday. Um, we hope to have a freeze dried candy vendor. The problem is, if it rains, he can't put his candies out because then they go away. <laughs> Bean is a Brock Francais. Tamitha asked what breed she a is. A Brock Francais. A French a pointer. Brock a French pointer. Francais. In other words, a French pointer. She's a French pointer. If you want to know the difference in a French pointer and a GSP, you can look this up. But the truth is this. It's their demeanor. Uh, GSP has a lot more energy. That's lot, a German short hair pointer yeah, a, for those of you not familiar. A German short hair pointer and then a French pointer look very similar. There are some differences. I see differences right through here. Like I feel like Bean's eyes are wide. But um, their their um, energy level is is different. Bean can be very energetic, but she can also be lazy. I mean, lazy. And mostly, what you read is that. And also, they're very very um, French pointers are very very sweet and very afraid to hurt your feelings or make or do anything wrong. They're very afraid to get in trouble. And GSPs, they say, will push push boundaries more. I don't know. I don't really know much. I only know the GSP my son has. And we, and listen, she's a, she's wonderful because she wasn't wonderful when they first got her. They didn't know what they were going to do. But when she went to training, when she and Bean went at the same time, they were in, they were in kennels next door to each other. And she just came back a different dog. And so we love them very much. No, I'm not going to train Bean to hunt. I, at one point I had considered training her um, to track, but your phone? huh? they want a Bean appearance. Can I see your phone? Yeah, show she's the, not here tonight. I want to show them the picture I just did. Oh, let's see. Yay, Ginger, that's exciting. Oh, yeah, we can't wait to see y'all either. Oh, it's not there. It's in my text from you. A Brock Francais, French pointer. That's what we say. No one calls it. Everyone says, oh, I love my GSP. Well, she's not a GSP, but that's not. This one? Where's the other one that I made pretty? There it is. This girl. Oh my gosh. She is the sweetest thing in the world. Now she's darker brown than that. I blew the color out, but she's a dark brown. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, she's so pretty. Maybe I can bring her up this weekend sometime. She's a gorgeous girl. She's the sweetest thing. That's her in the kitchen. That Literally in the kitchen while I'm cooking. She's just sitting there staring at me. What am I doing? She's the sweetest thing. You cannot know. I've never had a dog with her temperament. Ever. Yeah, orange is her color. She has backup orange collars. That's her color. And I want to give you an update on Darcy. She's doing really well. Um, she got to go be with some of Jasmine's family. And I love that because we get updates because of that. So... Um, it's really been so good, y'all. Like she is definitely living her best life. Like it's been good for Darcy, and it's been good at our house. The calmness of our animals is so much better because Darcy just couldn't handle it. The other girls are fine. All three of the other girls are fine, but Darcy was so stressed out. So we're so happy for her because she just couldn't relax. Um, but anyway, everything's going well there too. So. God did good. I just kept praying for Darcy. I was like, God, please find her a place. And listen, we didn't advertise either because I wasn't going to do that because you never, I don't know people like that. So we, yeah. God sent the right play, the right person for her. So that for was really sure. good. For sure. Oh, wait. She's got color like my Tucker. He's what they call a brindle queen great Dane. So her color is called. What is her color? I just looked it up the other day. Some people call it liver, but I don't think it's liver. I think it's that other color. Is it phone? It's not phone. Phone? I don't remember. But anyway, 
All cool, Michelle. Everybody's doing good. She did just need to be the queen bee. That's right. Yeah, Michelle, you picked a bad weekend to stay in Oxford. Hey, you, baby. <laughs> Talladega is this weekend. So. Yay! It is Talladega this weekend. Do you hear us all say it different? Talladega. Talladega. He, he said Talladega. It's Dega this weekend. Dega, Talladega. baby. My favorite trivia. When somebody says, when somebody says, do two truths and a lie, you know that game somebody does? My favorite one that I always write down is that I drove on, I drove a race car on Talladega and no one ever guesses that it's me, but I did. It wasn't a race car, but it was a, my favorite car at the time. I got to drive it on the track at Talladega and it was very intimidating. <laughs> well, now you've said it on YouTube, so it's for, I can't do it. I have, I have other ones now because I've used it too much, but it was so cool to do it. So we will, what we will try to do is do some live streams. I can't promise but we'll try to do some live streams or, or some Instagrams or some shorts on YouTube to kind of show y'all tomorrow. Um, we'll try to do that. What happens is we get excited. We start hanging out. Nobody's, nobody's got their phone out, you know, which is a good thing. But I know you guys would like to see it. So we'll do our best. I will definitely give you a, a tour after the fact because I want you to see what the store looks like. I think it, lo I think it's, it looks really pretty considering it's not decorated for um, Christmas. Because usually holiday open house, we do Christmas, and it's it still looks good to me. We've done some pretty fun things. All right. We're going to let Vinny pray for us tonight, and we're going to head home and get in our PJs and eat some dinner, maybe not in that order, and get ready for tomorrow when we get to hang out with you guys. Yeah, uh, Bonnie, they, they make, they come in a lot of different uh, shapes. Shapes is not the right word. Shades of brown and white. Like the breeder that we got being from now has a litter of dark brown puppies They're where beautiful. Bean has a lot of white and dark brown. Um, these are just dark, dark brown There's with a, a little too. bit of stuff. There's a black too. And I would do, I would just give anything for a black and white one if I could find one, but I haven't been able to find one anywhere. Um, there are vendors Saturday. I just can't tell you who they are because I can't remember. I know that it's Clack. Can we go get the list? Sure. sure. Let's get the list. We'll do that real quick. Clack is going to be here. The, Saturday. The, uh, the mobile Clack show. The, boy, my brain just quit. What are you trying to say? The boiled peanuts will be here Saturday too, right? <laughs> They're only here Friday. Only here Friday. Mm -hmm. That means we've got to buy a bunch. It's a um, big weekend in our area. You know, we're having open house all over town. We're also having, if you don't know, there's also antiques in the garden that pedals from the past. When you come, we'll tell you everything that's going on. Sorry. <laughs> Here's who will be here. Friday and Saturday, we have Mr. Jim. Okay. Yeah. Friday, we have J&D Produce. That's our boiled peanuts. The Brew Sisters Coffee Truck will be here tomorrow. Oh, yay. And GMOS Cupcakes will be here. Now, we ordered the cupcakes. Okay, so GMOS have an open house as well, okay? But I wanted her here too. So we ordered cupcakes in four packs. For those of you who can't get to her place too, you can pick them up here. I only have a certain number. We just ordered some boxes of them. But we'll have GMOS Cupcakes here. Then on Saturday, we have... Mr. Jim, we have Clack, and we have Paul's Candy Shack, weather permitting. He's the freeze dried candy. And then we'll have GMOS Cupcakes. If y'all didn't buy them Product available. Like if you don't <laughs> buy them all before then, we'll have her cupcakes too. Or and we don't eat them all. We ordered the flavors today. She came by and we ordered the flavors. We ordered strawberry cheesecake. No. Yes, we did. Red we velvet changed. cheesecake. We ordered red velvet cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake, because we changed it. Vanilla and what was our chocolate option that we ordered? Didn't we order a chocolate no, option? No, you got wedding cake. That's the vanilla. But we did a chocolate option. I swear we did. No, pecan pie. Pecan pie. I thought you took that one off because of nuts. Nope, that's what we did. We did. You walked I'm away. Well, you walked away. And we did strawberry cheesecake. We did um, red velvet cheesecake. We made sure they were both cheesecake because they're the best ones. And then we did pecan pie. And then we did um, wedding cake. That's what we did. So I'm excited about those two. They're going to be good. And these are not the big match. She's not doing her jumbos here. We got the smaller. They're not small. We got the normal size. If you've ever had a GMOS cupcake, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they're huge. But we got like the four pack size. So uh, <laughs> our neighbor refuses to believe her. We'll Google it. Show them on Google. 
All right, we're going to let Vinny close us out in prayer tonight. If you have a specific prayer request, you can head to our Facebook group called Created in Christ, and you can share that there so we can be praying with you about that. We want to thank you for praying for Tamitha. They got to go home from the hospital today. That is wonderful news. Um, I feel that I feel sure there's some more testing to be done so they can still use your prayers and they can use your prayers to just relax. But the big thing was Tim did not want to be in the hospital over the weekend. He kind of told them it ain't happening. So he got to go home. So which is a good thing. So <laughs> we're glad about that. Um, all right. All right. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thank you for today. Thank you for the time that we got to spend together tonight. Lord, I thank you for your strength that has helped us get through all that we've done to get ready for open house. I thank you, God, for the creative mind that you've given those that work here to just come up with wonderful plans and dreams and visions of what this place can look like and how you've just brought it all together. I thank you for every person that's helped. I pray, God, that tomorrow is open house is here. For those that are able to be here, God, we can't wait to spend time with them. And God, we just pray your blessings on their travel as they come this way. Lord, I pray for those that can't make it and would really love to. I pray, God, you just let them know we love them anyway. And we can't wait to one day get to spend time with them too. Lord, I pray that you be with those that are dealing with bad weather tonight, those that are dealing with sickness. We thank you, God, that you were... Uh, that you let Tim come home this weekend. We're thankful for that, God. And I know that's a huge relief for him and for Tamitha. And God, we just lift that situation up. God, you know other situations, and I just lift them up to you as well and pray that uh, you as a great physician will just work and do what you need to do. And we'll trust you for the result. God, we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I forgot you need to give a uh, your daddy update just real quick for those okay. that are still here they'll want to know uh, dad is doing much much better or at least he was last night when we stopped by there um they adjusted his medicine and that seems to have helped his blood pressure situation so he seems I to be, doing be honest better. it was very sharp last night very cognitively sharp like chatting he was doing really good like he was quipping you know doing little quips and stuff he was yeah. doing very good so thank you for your prayers and we hope that that continues to help him and you have a wonderful night until next time bye, bye now, now.